All right, you guys ready to see my new helicopter? Yes, Dash. You dragged us all the way out here to see it. It better be good. Of course it's good. Anyways, we're here now. You guys can look. All right, let's see this. And oh, wow, Dash, did you build this with your eyes closed or something? And, uh, uh, do I? No, no, I didn't build it with my eyes closed. <laughs> Dash, this looks like a car with a fan on top of and, it. Uh, well, isn't that what all helicopters look like? Uh, no, does this thing even fly? And yes, guys, of course it flies. Want to take it for a spin? Uh, only if I can wear a helmet. And, what? Guys, it's not that bad. Bad. Um, Cam, you got an extra one of those? Uh, yeah, yeah, here you go. All right. Oh, do I in the world? Okay, you guys are just scaredy cats here. I'm taking off. Everyone hop in your seats. All right, here we go. Let's go. See, this thing is perfectly fine. Dash, are you sure this is normal? There's a bunch of smoke coming out the back. Wait, what? There is a... Uh, what? That, that wasn't supposed to be there. Uh, uh, guys, wait, hold on. I can't control the helicopter anymore. What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, we're going down. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Uh, what in the world just happened? Everyone get out of the helicopter. Let me out. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. It's floating away. Gosh, that was the worst helicopter experience in my entire life. I bet I could build a way better helicopter than you can. What? No way. It's harder than it looks, okay? Gosh, I could probably build a better one, too. In fact, here, I'm going to build a better one just to show you. Uh, yeah, same here. And, uh, uh, wait, wait, what? You guys are both building new helicopters? Okay, well, you know what? Uh, I bet I could build a better one, too. I wasn't uh, trying on this one over here. Um, sure. You looked pretty proud of that one, not gonna lie. What? No, that definitely was not my best work, okay? I can build a way better helicopter, and in fact, I'm gonna start right over here, guys. My helicopter is gonna be absolutely crazy. All right, well, whatever my helicopter is the best one here, I don't wanna hear it. What, Cam? Your helicopter is gonna be nowhere near mine, but anyways, here, the first thing I gotta do for my helicopter is build the floor, and I'm gonna make my helicopter absolutely ginormous. This thing is gonna be crazy. What ginormous? I bet it's not gonna be as big as mine. Uh, do I? No, mine's gonna be way bigger than yours. It's gonna be the biggest one here, and in fact, it's gonna be so big that I need to use some commands to build it. So let me just grab a magic wand really quick. And here, I'm just going to select all of these positions that I've already built so far. And then if I look this way and run the command slash slash stack, boom, there we go. I can just double the size of this platform here. Let me try slash slash stack uh, five. And hey, there we go. That's a lot nicer. Well, I'm not going for size, but I, I am going to have a pretty nice looking helicopter. It's going to be the most luxurious helicopter ever. And whoa, wait, you're building the most luxurious helicopter ever? Well, what's the point of a luxury helicopter? You can't even do anything on it. I'm gonna build an epic fighter helicopter. I'm gonna have so many weapons and like TNT cannons on mine. Yeah, but where are you gonna eat fancy steak on a fighter helicopter? And, uh, do I, dude, I, I don't need to eat fancy steak on a fighter helicopter, okay? I got better things to do, like uh, to fight crime. Yeah, and crash your helicopter. And, dude, I'm not gonna crash my helicopter, okay? That was just a one-time accident, all right? And look, it didn't even crash. It's still flying in the air. Uh, Dash, the plane literally has a hole the size of your head in it. And, what? Dude, that hole is not that bad. I could probably fix it with a little bit of duct tape. No. You should not fix that with a duct tape. Yeah, if you fix it with duct tape, it's gonna explode again. No, okay, well, guys, just forget about my old helicopter, okay? I'm building a new one right now, and this one's gonna be absolutely insane. So here, I got, like, the little floor plan of it done. Now, I just gotta go over here in the back and just round off the edges over here. I gotta make my helicopter absolutely perfect because I do not want this thing to crash again. So here, let me just round off these edges a little bit more, and okay, I think this floor plan should be about good. Now, what I need to do is actually build up the walls for my helicopter. So let me select this position right over here and also go in the other corner all the way over here. And I got to build up really high to make this work because I'm making my helicopter absolutely huge. I got to build up all the way up over here. Nice. And now let me select this position and I'm just going to run the command slash slash set purple concrete. Boom. There we go. That is looking pretty nice. Let me do the same over here on this side. Hey guys, my helicopter is looking absolutely crazy. It's like a huge mega ship. Oh, you think yours looks crazy? What the heck? <laughs> what is yours looking like that? What, Ruby, what is that? Um, I made it a little too big, but you'll see. Uh, why did I just see a glass sphere? You realize if you build it out of glass, then uh, the the instant it hits something, it's all gonna shatter, right? No way! I'm using glass so I can see, so I can drive, duh. Uh, Ruby, I think your helicopter might be worse than my old one. What do you mean? That, what in the world is that? It looks like a snow globe. It looks awesome. Uh, there's nothing that could be worse than your old helicopter dash. That thing barely flew and it blew up. It, no, no, no. Ruby's about to set a new record, all right? New record of what? Crash time? Yeah, you're gonna set a new record for fastest time to crash. Wait, what? Like you did? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's stop talking about my old helicopter, okay? But anyways, here, I'm building up the front walls of my helicopter right now. This thing is gonna look absolutely sick, but uh, since I have all of these curves here, it might take a while, but wait a minute. What I could do to make this a lot faster is just select these positions and then look up and then run the 
the command slash slash stack up 50. And oh, wait, hold on. I think 50 was a little bit too high, uh, but it's fine. We can just get rid of the extra. But yeah, this way is much faster than just filling it all in by hand. So here, let me just go ahead and slash slash stack all of these blocks so that we have a full wall for our helicopter. So here we go. Just got to keep on slash slash stacking this. Uh, Dash, your thing is getting beefy. Are you sure that thing's going to be able to fly? And oh, yes, this thing is definitely going to be able to fly. Check it out. It's, uh, it's kind of not looking like a helicopter right now, but it's going to look like a helicopter soon. All I got to do is just round off the edges up over here. Uh, I'll wait and see if you can prove that. Okay, Ruby, you cannot be talking right now. You're literally uh, trying to build a helicopter that's a glass sphere. It's abstract art. We're trying to build helicopters here, not abstract art. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, okay, but anyways, here, I'm just working on rounding off the edges over here at the top of my helicopter. I gotta make the edges super smooth so that this thing can fly super quickly across the air. It's gonna be pretty crazy, so here we go. That's looking, uh, kind of smooth, but I still got a little bit of work to do. All right, but anyways, I think this should be about rounded out enough. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This really does not look like a helicopter so far, but it, it, it's gonna, it's gonna very soon, you know. All I gotta do is just, uh, set up all of the roof now. So here, let me just build the roof out of some purple concrete. Guys, did you know that if your helicopter is built out of purple concrete, it actually goes 40% faster? Uh, no, I heard if it's made out of purple concrete, it's gonna be stuck in the sky and explode it. Uh, no, 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 that, that, that is just a myth. I, I, I'm literally looking at your other plane, Dash. Uh, that wasn't because it was made out of purple concrete. That's because uh, you were on it. What? How did I do that? Oh, come on, come on, Cam. He's trying his best. And yeah, come on, Cam. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to build my helicopter here, dude. Yeah, well, I hope your next helicopter is better than your last one. That one's traumatizing. It is. Is okay, it's gonna be way better, but here now I can just set the roof with some commands. So let me do slash slash set purple concrete just like that. Boom, there we go. Oh, but there's a big roof. This might take a second. Hey, there we go. And here now I just gotta set all of these back walls into some purple concrete as well. And all right, sick. My helicopter is looking pretty good here. Let me just set up the roof back over here as well, just <laughs> like that. And all right, the basic shape of my helicopter is pretty much done. This is actually looking crazy, but here I became uh, now I got to add some glass to the front of mine, kind of like the same way you did that. Yours actually looks kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I, I, you stop copying mine! Do what, dude? This is not copying. I was taking uh, inspiration. Yeah, sure. You're gonna take inspiration by copying it. No, every helicopter needs to have glass in the front of it. My old helicopter had glass in the front of it, so uh, I could say that you copied that. Well, you guys both have glass, and mine's almost completely made out of glass, so I think you guys are actually copying me. And, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You kind of, like, invented glass. Alright, well, anyways, here, I'm setting up the glass on my side now. I just gotta measure everything. I wanna have it be all nice and centered. So I'm just going to have it go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in, and then one, two, three, four, five, six blocks down. And then let me select this position over here. And then let me do the same over here in the opposite corner and select this position. And now what I'm going to do is run the command slash slash replace purple concrete with some purple glass. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. But wait, hold on. That only did like this inner wall over here. I think what we have to do is go out a little bit like this and then select this as our second position and then run that same command again. And Hey, there we go. Now we've got the basic glass area for our helicopter complete. But here, let me get rid of all of these little measuring blocks that I use. Anyways, now that I got the big glass area for my helicopter complete, I got to add the propellers because otherwise, how is this thing going to fly? And here, instead of just having one big propeller in the middle of the helicopter, I was thinking, why don't we build two big propellers on the side and then one big one over here in the back? That could look really cool. So here, what I need to do is pretty much build some wings to hold these other propellers. So I'm just going to build a little box over here on it this side we can just have it going like this wait you're building wings on your helicopter you realize this is a helicopter not a plane right and, yeah yeah dude uh, hold on it, it, you'll see it's gonna work pretty much what i need to do is slash slash stack this real quick there we go nice 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 and now i gotta build one of my propellers on top of this since my helicopter is gonna have three propellers it's gonna go up super fast it's gonna be pretty crazy so here let me just go ahead and start building this propeller right over here i'm gonna build the propeller out of some black concrete i think this would be a pretty good block so here let's just go ahead and build that really quick we just gotta make the propeller really long so that we can get uh, extra power from it and all right i think this propeller over here should be about long enough now i just gotta repeat the same over here on the opposite side and wait hold on actually i think i know how i can do this really fast let me just go in this corner and select this position and also go in this corner and select this position and then if i go right over here and just stand in the middle and run the command slash slash copy and now if i go ahead and run the command slash slash flip and then slash slash paste there we go check it out we have the propeller facing the other direction sick okay that is actually awesome but here it looks like we still need to copy these propellers over to the other side to make everything even so let's just go over 
here and select this and then let's also go in the opposite corner we got to go all the way far back over here and just select this position and then let's break all of these purple concrete blocks and then if we stand right over here and then run the command slash slash copy and again run the command slash slash flip and then paste it in boom there we go we got the propeller pasted on the other side let's go although hold on wait we have a few errors here we got to fix let's just fill in these blocks and all right there we go i think this propeller looks pretty solid and all right anyways now that we got this propeller over here done we gotta copy and paste this over onto the other side of the helicopter as well so the first thing i'm gonna do is just go ahead and select this big wing that we built over here on this side and i'm just gonna stand right over here and then run the command slash slash copy and now if i go over to the other side and run the command slash slash flip and then of course slash slash paste boom there we go check it out we have our wing thingy pasted onto the other side now we got to do the exact same with the propeller over here so here let's just go ahead and select this entire propeller and then uh, we can just stand in the middle right over here and then run the command slash slash copy and then if we go over to this side and just run the command slash slash paste boom there we go check it out instant propeller copy and paste it and let's go and whoa wait i just took a look at your guys's helicopter your guys's are looking uh pretty interesting wait kim uh, yours kind of looks like a submarine so far I'm not gonna lie. Well, that's because mine's not done. And uh, you're one to talk. Look at yours. Yours looks like a the deformed bus. And, uh, what, dude? Uh, you know, uh, uh, that's uh, the design I was going for. Yeah. And wait, what even is this? Why is your propeller so small? No way it's gonna be able to lift up this giant mass of blocks. Dude, it works. Just leave it alone. Uh, go focus on your own build. And, okay, okay. And, whoa, Ruby, yours is looking very interesting. It kind of looks like a fish. I'm not gonna lie. Um, thanks. What does that even mean? I don't know. You got like the fish body over here, and then you have the like the uh, tail in the back it's not supposed to be a fish okay okay well uh, you keep going at it but here i'm gonna keep working on my helicopter the final thing i need to do with my propellers is add one over here in the back so let me just go all the way out over here in the back and here i gotta find where the exact middle of this area is because i want to paste it in the very middle i cannot have any of my measurements be incorrect so here let's see i just gotta line up with the middle real quick and okay i'm pretty sure the middle is right over here perfect so let's just go ahead and break all of these measurements blocks that we placed down nice and now let's just go and build inwards a little bit like this and okay i think this should be a good spot to paste in our third and final propeller so let me just go and copy another propeller i'm just gonna go here and select this propeller and i'm just gonna stand right over here in the middle and run the command slash slash copy boom and now let's head over right over here and we can run the command slash slash paste boom there we go third propeller has been pasted and let's go now our helicopter should have enough propeller power to actually like lift off the ground and stuff but anyways let's see now we gotta start decking out the inside and whoa okay we have a lot of space to work with in here hmm, let's see the first thing we should probably build is a little cockpit area for whoever's flying the helicopter so they can control it and all that so here let's just build a big room over here where all of this glass is we can build the floor first let's just use some commands we can set all of this into some purple concrete boom there we go let's go ahead and make it a little bit longer with slash slash stack so let's just stack it like four times there we go that's looking pretty good nice and now we can build the wall so let's set the wall there to some purple concrete same with the roof over there and also this other wall right over here That's looking pretty sick and here. Let's also fill in the back with some purple concrete nice and all right sick Now we've got a big room right over here for the cockpit So what we got to do next is you know like actually uh, to put all of the equipment and stuff down So let's go ahead and grab one of these captain's chairs and also one of these things called a physics infuser This is what's gonna let us control the ship and here I was thinking we could put down the captain chair up over here on like a little platform that way it, The captain can get like a little little bit more height so here we can just have some stairs on each side to actually get up like that that looks pretty good and then over here on top of this platform we can put down the captain's chair right over here and then we can put down the physics confuser right over here next to him yeah this way the captain will be able to just hop in his seat and then start controlling the ship with his physics confuser but anyways i think the captain's area looks about done now we gotta start building some other stuff and anyways since this is supposed to be a fighter helicopter we gotta add some weapons in the front so here let's just head into the front really quick over here and here what i was thinking is why don't we add some turrets let's see what type of turrets are we working with here and oh, laser turrets let's go okay we definitely gotta use some of those oh wait we should also use some of these rocket launcher turrets these things seem sick so here i guess let's just grab all of this turret stuff that we need i'm pretty sure we need to have the turret itself we need to have one of these turret bases and we also need to get one of these energy cubes to power it and here now that we got everything let's go ahead and add some turrets we can have a few over here in the bottom of the helicopter let's have like one right over here we can have 
have the energy cube there and then the turret base right over there and then on this one we could put down a bunch of these laser turrets check it out hold on let me try spawning in a zombie i want to see how op these turrets actually are let me just spawn it in right over here and whoa wait they just took out that zombie so quickly what turrets are so unnecessary how are you even going to have a business meeting with turrets and, uh, the business meeting dude no this, this isn't supposed to be like a luxury private helicopter this is a fighter helicopter like i said that sounds so unnecessary and it doesn't even sound smart oh yeah well what if there's like enemies chasing you and you have to fight them off well, there's not going to be enemies chasing me because i'm in a helicopter i'll just fly away and yeah but what if they try to rob you or something uh, they're not going to be able to uh i don't know about that i'd say better be safe than sorry but anyways i've got some laser turrets down i got some on both sides of the helicopter now i gotta try out some of these rocket launcher turrets so let's just go ahead and put some of these in the middle of the ship over here we can just have uh, one right over here like that and then let's also have another rocket launcher turret on this side and all right these rocket launcher turrets are about to go crazy let's find in a zombie how is this gonna do it oh wait hold on are the turrets gonna wait what? i'm pretty sure the laser turrets just took those ones out wait what hold on hold on hold on i think i need to build a little wall between the laser turrets and the rocket launcher turrets just to stop the laser turrets from attacking the zombies first let's just build this wall over here like that and all right here now let's try it out all right rocket launcher turrets let's see what you got here we go come on and uh, why aren't they doing anything uh they're definitely aiming at the zombie what if i punch the zombie they change their aim so they definitely have power and oh wait a minute i'm pretty sure these ones need ammo yeah wait a minute hold on i need to put ammo inside of this one okay let me see i need to find some rockets real quick and oh these ones look pretty good i'm pretty sure we just have to fill up this entire ammo slot with some rockets there we go let's do the same over here on this one and all right now let's test it out let me try spawning in another zombie and whoa okay uh that is kind of op but wait it took like three shots for these rocket launcher turrets to take out one zombie that is way too slow i'm not gonna lie but hold up i think there's a way we could fix this i'm pretty sure there's this thing called a damage upgrade that we could get and yeah check it out add-on damage boost let's go ahead and grab that and let's just go ahead and put it inside of the add-on slot of our turret and whoa what the heck look at this one it's got like these red stripes on it now that must be it's more powerful let's put some of these damage upgrades on the other turret as well and all right let's test this out how much damage is it gonna do now and Oh, uh, okay. Uh, problem solved. It can one-shot the zombies. Now let's go. Oh, wait. What if we spawn like five zombies at once? Oh, okay. It can it can definitely still one-shot them. All right. I think that should be pretty good. Here, let's get rid of all of these walls. And all right. I think our turret defense system is pretty much done. This is looking sick. And whoa, wait, Ruby. I just took a look at your helicopter. I'm not going to lie. Yours is actually looking really good so far. Oh, thanks. What do you like most about it? I'm not going to lie. I kind of like these landing stands that you added over here. I might have to copy these. Oh, yeah. Those are pretty imperative for safety. Um, You should put those in actually and yeah you're right i think i'm gonna have to do that but hmm i don't really have any room underneath my helicopter right now so i think i have to take it for its first test flight i'm gonna have to fly it up a little bit so i have enough room to build those landing legs um, good luck i hope you don't explode this time i'm not gonna explode okay uh, everyone be ready uh, to have your water ready what water dude i'm not gonna explode or anything here i just turned on my ship and all right i think it's working <gasps> let's go guys check it out my helicopter is flying whoa that looks pretty sick actually whoa this looks looks awesome okay well anyways i think this should be about high enough uh here let me just go ahead and turn it off really quick and all right here now that we're a little bit higher in the air we should have enough room to build these landing platform stuff so hey there we go yeah we are definitely high enough let's go ahead and build those landing things now so here i guess the first thing we have to do is just build a big line of uh gray concrete across the middle of the bottom area so here we can just build that like this pretty simple now we just gotta make these little uh stair thingies going down like that and here we can repeat that over over here on this side as well there we go that's looking pretty good and now we gotta build an entirely new one of these on the back of the helicopter so what i'm gonna do is just select all of this really quick and in fact what i'm gonna do is just look this way and run the command slash slash stack there we go and then i'm just gonna go ahead and select this new one that we just stacked and then use the command slash slash move to move it all the way to the back there we go and oh wait hold on i think that might be a little bit too far hold on let me try undoing that real quick let's try slash slash move 45 there we go that's uh, about good and here the final thing we need to do to make this work is add some rails down over here at the bottom to connect both of the landing legs so here we can just use commands for this again let's just select all of this and then look this way and then run the command slash slash stack up 50 there we go that's looking pretty nice and all right i think this side over here should be good now we just gotta copy this thingy over onto the other side so here we go and all right nice that is looking pretty good all right well anyways now that we have the landing legs complete let's see what other things do we need inside of our fighting helicopter let's head on the inside really quick and all right what other weapons do we need and oh <gasps> 
Wait a minute. What if we build a big TNT dropper that just drops a bunch of TNT underneath the helicopter? That could be really OP. So here, what I was thinking is that, let me just go ahead and grab a door really quick. We can have all of the helicopter be connected. So here, let's just dig into the wall over here like this. And let me grab some stairs. And here, let's just go ahead and make a little staircase going all the way down onto the main floor of the helicopter. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. And then we can add a door right over here just to make it look nice. All right, all right. And now what we got to do is actually build the TNT dropper thingy. So I was thinking, let's just go right over here in the middle of the helicopter. And all right, do we have room here? Uh, yep, we definitely have enough room. And what we got to do over here is just grab a few dispensers really quick. And I'm, what I'm going to do is literally just place down a bunch of dispensers pointing downwards like this. This is going to be pretty crazy. And okay, wow, there's actually a lot of dispensers. This is going to be pretty crazy for whoever's up underneath. But anyways, here, there we go. That is all of the dispensers done. Now, the next thing we need to do is grab a little bit of TNT and Whoa, okay, wait, there's a lot of crazy types of TNT. Hold up, wait, which one should we use? Ooh, okay, wait, hold on. There's this one called the TNT times five. I think this one's pretty OP. Hold up, hold up. Okay, all this crazy TNT might be a little bit too OP. How about we just use some normal TNT in most of the dispensers like this? Except we can use one crazy TNT in one of the dispensers. So, hmm, what type of crazy TNT should we use? And ooh, wait, what about this physics TNT? I'm pretty sure I know what this does, actually. Let me grab a flint and steel real quick. I want to test it out. Uh, wait, Kim, can I test something on your helicopter real quick? What? No, no, no. I, I, if it involves explosions, Explosions, nah. -uh. Why, dude? Your helicopter is like the perfect testing field for explosions. Uh, no, it's not. The perfect testing field for explosions is the giant flat ground around us. And okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll use a flat floor. I, I, I wanted to see how much damage it would like do. But anyways, here, I guess let me just go ahead and put down this TNT right over here. And let's see, what is it gonna do? It. Uh, what the heck is going on? What? Oh no, oh no, guys! I think I got stuck in the TNT. Ah Dash, what in the world is that over there? I don't know what is going on. Get me out! I'm stuck. What do you want us to do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta grab it. Ender pearl. I'm gonna get out of this. Hold on. I need to toss the ender pearl over here. Come on. No, it's got me. It's sucking me back in. Someone help. Um, Cam, go help him. The TNT is trying to eat me. I can't escape. I think I'm fine. I'm just gonna keep working on my build. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. It finally ended. It just exploded. But, uh, okay. That was a pretty bad time. I'm not gonna lie. So I, I think I'm gonna put that inside of my dispensers. What? You're still gonna use it after what you just went through? Yeah, because in the future, it's not gonna be used on me. It's gonna be used on whoever is under underneath my helicopter. Um, okay. So here, I'm gonna go inside of all of these dispensers, and what I'm gonna do is just fill most of them up with some normal TNT, except I'll fill up uh, one over here in the top left corner with some of this physics TNT. And all right, there we go. All of the dispensers are filled up with some TNT. But anyways, the next thing we gotta do is grab a little bit of redstone and just connect all of these dispensers together. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. And okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared of testing this right now because I do not want that physics TNT to drop on me, but uh, I need to do it. It's for science. But hold up, hold up, hold up. Actually, I'm not going to test it right over here. What I'm going to do is fly the helicopter a little bit higher, and then I'm going to test it. So here, let me just hop into the captain's seat again. And all right, here, I'm just going to go ahead and fly my helicopter up a little bit uh, over here. I think this should be about good. And here, let me turn it off real quick. And all right, now that we're way higher up in the air, let's just go over to our TNT droppers again, and let's just go ahead and test it out. Hey, guys, I'm about to test out a, a high amount of uh, explosives. What? Why? Uh, don't worry about it, but here, let me flick the lever and... Okay, everything is going and... Uh, wait, 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 what the heck? Physics TNT over here just got dispensed as an item. It didn't actually go off. What? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I need to test that out one more time. Let me just try flicking this lever over here just to activate this one by itself and... Yeah, what? It's not even lighting it off. <sighs> okay, that is actually so useless. I guess we can't use any crazy TNT. Or wait a minute. What we could probably do is just, instead of having a dispenser here, we could just have the TNT itself. And this would probably light it, right? And oh, no. Uh, wait, why isn't that TNT going down? Oh, no. Uh, guys, guys, my helicopter is blowing up. What is happening? No. My helicopter is what? Someone help. I need water. I need water. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Quick, quick. I got to put the water everywhere here. No, no, no. This is actually really bad. I thought it was going to drop or something. Yeah, who could have thought of this? Come on, come on. I just gotta put some water around here. Please don't do damage to my helicopter. And wait a minute. Uh, that barely did any damage. Let's go. Oh, well, yeah, you did pretty good without us. All right. Well, <laughs> that kind of caused a mess, though. So uh, I gotta clean that all up now. Let me just drain all of this water really quick. Slash, slash, drain 50. 
There we go. I'll help you get rid of this TNT, I guess. Oh, thanks so much for the help. But anyways, here, I, I got to clean all this up now. That was uh, kind of a disaster. I think I learned my lesson from using this physics TNT. I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. Well, okay, you be careful now. And yep, I'm going to try my best not to blow up my helicopter again. And all right, there we go. Pretty much looking good as new here. All I got to do now is just put down all of these dispensers again because uh, that physics TNT kind of uh, took them out. All right, and yeah, there we go. I think we're only going to use normal TNT from now on. No! No more of this crazy physics TNT. That stuff was a bit too crazy. So anyways, here, let's just go ahead and connect it all up with a little bit more redstone just like that. And here, I'm just going to test it out one more time. And yep, okay, that is looking absolutely awesome. We can do giant explosions underneath the floor below us. But anyways, what we got to do to make this actually useful now is connect it to the control room over here so that the pilot can activate it. So to do that, all we got to do is grab some repeaters and we can just have a big line of redstone going all the way to the captain's area. There we go. I think we're right under it now so here let's just dig up a little bit over here and all right i guess we could put the lever to turn it on and off right over here yeah that should be good and then right underneath that we can put down the redstone and okay this is looking absolutely awesome yes now we can control it from the pilot's room all right but anyways now that we've got some tnt droppers on our helicopter what other types of weapons do we need to add since this is supposed to be a fighter helicopter let's see let's see let's see what could we do and oh <gasps> Wait a minute. I think I got a pretty cool idea. What if we add some fireball cannons onto these little uh, propeller wings? We can have fireball cannons on each side. That could actually be really cool. Here, let me grab some more dispensers and uh, let's just literally put a bunch of dispensers over here. We're just going to have an absolutely crazy amount of dispensers here. We're just going to have some like this, a few more over here for good measures and a few more over here on this side. And all right, now we got to have a way to actually power them. So what I was thinking is why don't we use some observers? We could pretty much just build a a big observer wall kind of like this and just have it go all the way up to the top dispensers and then over here on the other side we could put down a few more observers just like this and pretty much what this will do is make it so that we can control all of the dispensers with one lever flick so here let me just grab a lever really quick and put it down right over here and check it out whenever we flick this lever all of these observers are gonna activate check that out all we gotta do to make it so that they power the dispensers is just put a bunch of blocks over here connecting the two and all right the dispenser should already have some fireballs in them. Yep, here. Let's try flicking the lever now and <gasps> let's go. That looks crazy. Hey guys, I've got fireball dispensers on my helicopter now. You've got what? Oh, nothing. Uh, it's just my uh, array of fireball shooters. This stuff is actually crazy. Why do you even need those? Well, as long as they're not hitting my plane, I don't care. Hey, hey, come on, guys. I do need these. Okay, what if there's like a pigeon or something flying in front of my helicopter? I gotta take it out. You're gonna hit it with a fireball? You just ask it to move out of the way. It's a pigeon, not a fighter pilot. Well, guys, yeah, but what if the pigeon is trying to like uh, get inside of my propeller and mess up my helicopter? Uh, that won't happen because it's a pigeon. It's not like an elephant. Hey, what if it's an elephant? You know, some elephants can fly, I'm pretty sure. Why would there be an elephant in the sky? Elephants can't fly. I don't know, guys. I'm just saying, you gotta be prepared. But anyways, the next thing I'm going to do is make a big redstone line going from these observers all the way over to the captain's room. That way we can control everything from the captain's room. It should be pretty OP. So here, we're just going to have a huge redstone line going all the way to the captain's room. This is going to be absolutely awesome. And oh, wait, the way that we can control it is by using a stack of redstone torches. So let me grab some redstone torches and just go all the way down over here. And here, what we got to do is build a little redstone torch stack kind of like this. So we can have a redstone torch and then another redstone torch and check it out. Pretty much what this will do is make it so that whenever you flick a lever, it'll be able to turn on or off the redstone torch at the top, just like that. So here, let's just make this redstone torch tack go all the way up to the very top of this room. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then let's put a block right over here and some redstone on top of it. And all right, nice. Now we should be able to use this to control the dispensers here. Let me try flicking this lever over here real quick and it should turn on the redstone over here. And yes, that works. Hold on. Wait, we also have to use some repeaters to extend the signal. So let's put down a few of those real quick there we go and all right sick now we should be able to control everything from the pilot's room let's test this out real quick let's just go down right over here and if i flick this lever we should get some fireballs flying out any second now and yes that is actually so cool now all we gotta do is just copy this over onto the other side and then our fireball shooters should be complete so i'm just gonna simply slash slash copy and slash slash paste it so there we go just paste it in on this side and now we just gotta connect the redstone together and then our fireball shooter should be complete all right there we go it's all connected here let's try it out let me just flick this lever one more time and okay this time we should get fireballs out of both cannons and yes let's go that works so perfectly but hold on a minute instead of just using regular fireballs i'm pretty sure we 
can use some crazy fireballs and yes, check it out. There's so many different types. Whoa, what the heck? There's a poop charge? Hey guys, how would you like it if I put a poop charge inside of my dispensers and shoot it at your helicopters? That sounds really gross. Yep, exactly. That's why it's going to be such a good defense here. Let me test it out real quick. I'm just going to put a dispenser here with some poop charges inside of it. And wait, hold on. Does this actually work? Let's try it out. And what the heck? It even makes like a poop sound when you use it. Dash, you better not use that on my ship. Uh, I'm kind of shooting at your ship right now, but uh, it's not reaching yet, so don't worry, you're good. Um, yet? You mean never, right? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 never, totally, but okay, I'm just gonna put a few of these inside of uh, this dispenser over here. You know, these poop chargers are pretty nice. There we go, and all right, all right, what other types of chargers could we use? Let's see. Ooh, wait, what the heck is this? It's called the Spectral Bolts Charge. Hold on, that sounds kind of OP. Hold up, let's test that out real quick inside of this dispenser. Let's just put some of those in, and let's see, what is this gonna do? It. Whoa, wait, it's like uh, a purple fireball. All right, that's kind of cool. I guess that can go inside of this dispenser over here. Let me just grab some of those and put it all inside of this one. And hold on, let's find one more cool type of charge that we could use in. Whoa, ice fireball charge. Hold on. Is it just like a fireball, but ice? I want to see what this thing does. Let me try activating this dispenser real quick and... Whoa, okay, that's kind of cool. It's just like an ice fireball. All right, well, that can go inside of this dispenser right over here. And all right, I think that's enough messing around with crazy fireballs. And whoa, wait, look, one of them even put some blue fire here. I'm pretty sure this was from the ice fireball. That is actually awesome. But anyways, let's see, let's see. We've got the fireball shooters. We've got the TNT droppers and we've got the turrets over here. But hmm, what else does our helicopter need? And Oh, wait a minute. What if my helicopter is the one being attacked and, you know, we need, to, like, a way to escape? I'm definitely gonna need to build, like, some sort of safe escape route. So, uh, hmm, what could I do for an escape route? And, oh, wait, actually, I have an idea. I could just grab a few elytras and we could just have, like, a little elytra escape route right over here. Let me just grab a few doors really quick and, ooh, wait, we should use this hangar door over here. Check this out. That is actually awesome. Okay, yeah, we can have this hangar door over here and then inside of this chest, we can have a bunch of elytras and, wait, wait, in fact, instead of a chest let's grab a dispenser really quick and we could just have a dispenser down right over here because you know if you're trying to escape then you got to get out of the helicopter super quickly there's no time to waste so instead of manually taking your elytra out of the chest and putting it on what about instead we have one of these automatic elytra uh, equipper stations so what you have to do is just walk in over here and then it'll automatically put the elytra on okay that is pretty awesome what if the helicopter is like flying on top of an ocean or something and you know uh the, the only place that you can elytra to is down into the water that's not going to be very safe so what about instead of only having an elytra escape route i also have a few planes in the back wait dash you're gonna have planes inside of your helicopter uh yep that's exactly what i'm gonna do it's pretty crazy i know my helicopter is just that big that i can fit them in um i don't know about that no no no. trust me this is gonna be a really good idea what if i'm like flying on top of the ocean and you know uh, my plane is being attacked i'm gonna need to have some sort of way to escape right well yeah you're gonna have to have some way to you know survive in the water exactly so i was thinking what about just a plane that way i won't even have to survive in the water i can just like fly away hmm. Okay, I guess that works. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty banger idea. So here, what I gotta do is build a runway for the plane really quick. I'm gonna have the runway go out into the back. It's gonna be pretty awesome. And here, actually, I can do this a lot faster. Let me just select this road over here and then look this way. And then I can just run the command slash slash stack uh, four. There we go. Actually, wait, hold on. That might be a bit too far. Let me undo that real quick. Let's try slash slash stack two. And oh, wait, hold on. I think we have to move this escape route as well. Let me just select the Elytra escape route real quick and just run the command slash slash move uh, 10. There we go. And here, let me just cover up this hole real quick. And all right, yeah, I think this road should be long enough. Here, let's also build another road over here on this side, just in case, you know, we have a lot of people on the helicopter and, you know, they all need to escape at once. So let's just select this and then look this way and then run the command slash slash stack five. There we go. And all right, now we can go ahead and start putting down our planes. So we can have our planes over here like this. We can have one plane on each runway at a time, but hmm, we should probably have some backup planes as well, just in case, you know, more people want to escape. So what I was thinking is let's grab some slabs and we could just put down a few slabs over here on the runway like this. And then over here in between both of the runways, we could put down a few more planes just like this. So, you know, in case there's any extra people who want to fly planes, they could just hop in one of these planes, drive them up the slabs onto the runway and then use them to escape. There we go. That looks pretty sick. And all right, now all we need is a way to actually like open and close the doors for the planes to escape because we can't have them always be open because that's going to be kind of dangerous. So wait a minute. What if we have some command blocks do it? Let me just slash give myself a command block really quick. There we go. And here, now if I just paste 
pasted this command really quick and grab a button and put that down right over here. Check it out. Whenever we press the button, it'll just open up the door right over here. But wait a minute. We're also going to need to have a way to automatically activate this command block. So what we could do is just uh, build up a little thingy like this and then grab some tripwire hooks and some string and check it out. We can just put down the tripwire hooks like this. And whenever the plane runs by on the runway, it's going to activate these tripwire hooks. And then using some redstone, we can connect this over to the command block to automatically open the door. So here, let me just fill in the door really quick and test this out. There we go. And here, I'm just going to pretend like I'm the plane. I'm just going this way, ready for takeoff. And then the door automatically opens. That is actually sick. Here, now let's just go ahead and copy the exact same thing over here on this side. So there we go. And okay, let's see. Is this one going to work as well? And yep, they both work perfectly. All right. But anyways, we've got the plane escape route. We got the Elytra escape route. We got the TNT droppers. And we've got uh, the fireball shooters and turrets. Is there anything else we need to build on our fighter helicopter? And oh. <gasps> Wait a minute. We gotta have some sort of missile launcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a missile launcher is gonna be very important because, you know, what type of fighter helicopter doesn't have a missile launcher? Am I right? So here, what I was thinking is we could just go up over here on the top of the captain's area and let's just build ourselves a little room right over here. In fact, I'm gonna do this with commands. Let me select this position and also this position up over here. And let's just do slash slash walls and ooh, let's set the walls into stone bricks. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Now, let me grab some lighter and we could just have some ladders to actually get up to this room from the captain's area over here. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. And now here is where we're going to build our missile launcher stuff. So what we got to do is uh, grab some equipment for this, of course. So here, of course, we're going to need to have a launcher pad. We're going to need some of these launcher frames. Uh, what else? What else? Ooh, we need one of these launcher screens. And all right, here, let's start putting all this down. We could have our launcher pad be uh, right over here. And then we could put some of these frames on top of it. And all right, let's see. What type of missile should we use? Um, <gasps> Whoa, red matter missile. Okay, that seems kind of OP. I guess let's uh, put that in over there. Whoa. Here, now let's grab a little bit of this reinforced glass and just uh, put that over there just to, you know, make sure that we don't get affected by the blast. So there we go. We can have a bunch of reinforced glass right over there like that. And then we can have all of the equipment for actually launching it right over here. So we can have the launcher screens like that. And all right, I think this should be about good. Here, let me also grab one of these remote detonators and an item frame. So in case we want to launch it remotely. But wait, wait, hold on. We also need to have a way for this missile to, you know, uh, get out of the helicopter because right now it's kind of just going to hit the roof and uh, it's not going to be good. So what I was thinking is let's grab some ghost blocks and just place a bunch of ghost blocks right over here. And pretty much these ghost blocks just look like normal blocks, but you can actually go right through them. So this should be perfect. This should let the missile go right through it. And all right. Anyways, with that being done, I'm pretty sure my helicopter is now complete. Let's go. Uh, yeah, same with mine. Mine's done. I think mine is all so done. And oh, let's go, let's go. And wait a minute. Now that all of our helicopters are done, we got to take a tour of each other's and whoa, wait, Cam's yours is looking pretty interesting. And whoa, wait, Ruby, yours actually looks pretty cool. Thanks. But wait, uh, Ruby, can we take a look at yours first? Oh yeah, sure. Um, let's just, let's just get started. All right. All right. Let's check this thing out. I'm not going to lie. I kind of underestimated the glass sphere at the start, but this actually looks pretty nice. Where do we start? Um, so the entrance is in the back right here. Oh wait, it's in the back and wait, what? You just have a big hole in the back of your helicopter? You realize that, like, when you're flying, this is not going to be safe? Um, we'll, we'll close it up with glass later. Uh, okay. But, uh, anyways, uh, what's this? I think this is a dance floor. Yeah, you're right. It is a dance floor, Cam. What the heck? Wait, you have a whole dance floor on your helicopter? Wait, what's the point of this? Um, so people can dance on the floor. What? It's called a dance floor. It's kind of straightforward. Uh, yeah, but why is it on a helicopter? So people can have fun, Dash. What? Wouldn't you want to move around if you were stuck on a helicopter? Uh, fair enough. I I, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, well, anyway, uh, what's up here? Oh, okay. You guys don't want to dance? I see how it is. On the next floor, we have the supplies. Whoa. Okay, okay. Wait, what's inside of all these? And, uh, wait, cookie cake? And, wait, is it all just cookie cake? Yeah. What? These aren't even, like, good supplies. How are you supposed to fly with just cookie cake? And over here's beetroots. What? This yeah. looks like the most random food combination ever. If you need a vegetable, it's right over here. What are you talking about? Uh, okay, that's kind of interesting, but wait, 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 what's on the next floor over here? And hold up, one more thing I forgot to mention. Can't anyone just, like, fall from each floor? You don't have any, like, walls. Um, it's so you can see the floor and see outside. Isn't looking outside the windows kind of important for passengers? Uh, I, I guess so, but you, you could have just, like, you know, uh, expanded the floor a little bit so that they don't fall off. Hey, you're building. Okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, let's check out what the next floor is. So far, uh, this helicopter is kind of interesting.
thing and wait what, what what is this is this like a conference lounge so this is the vip comedy lounge the comedy lounge wait cam hold on you gotta go on stage and tell us some jokes uh okay i guess i could try uh, uh, uh knock knock <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. What? You didn't even say the joke. What was that? What do you mean? That was hilarious. That was uh kind of pathetic. I'm not gonna lie. But wait, what's this over here? And oh wait, is this the captain's room? Yeah, this is the captain's room. Um, I guess I'll put down some extra chairs for you guys for later when I test it out. But uh, let's just move on for now. All right, I guess so. And. Uh Wait, what the, what the heck was that? It's a security door. It only opens with my eyeballs. Oh, oh, like, oh, If fair I enough. open my eyeballs really wide, will it work? <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing, Cam? Cam, get away from the door. I'm trying to open it. <laughs> it's already open. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, let's just go on to the next floor. Let's see what's next. And Whoa. Okay, this area looks interesting. Whoa, wait, you have like a whole arcade here? Yep. Are you going to play a game? Yeah, here. I'm about to play Pac-Man. I'm about to pop off. Let's go. Oh, I'm about to pop off on Tetris, boy. <laughs> are you going to pack that? Man, are you gonna test the wrist? Let's go, let's go. Yo, I'm packing so many mans right now. Come on in. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I just packed the ghost. Let's go, let's go. And oh, I just got packed. Oh, man. I'm popping off in Tetris right now. Hurry up. Yeah, I, well, I am hurrying up. I'm just popping off right now. Hold on. Are you winning, Cam? Uh, I've got like four points. What? The four? That's like nothing, dude. Oh, yeah, then why do I have tickets? What? You got Whoa. tickets from yours? Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, let, let, let's just move on. Uh, then what's next? Why is there a minecart here? Um, this is just like a little mini indoor roller coaster for kids. Uh, it's so unstable, I can't even get on it. Um, I don't know what the problem is, but, uh... I think maybe it's because we're on a helicopter. Well, I think I have to fix it before someone gets on it and accidentally falls off, but, um, it'll be okay. And, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's kind of fun. It's like a challenge to who can stay on the longest, but, like, what's going on with Cam here? Oh, I see he's trying out the nausea simulator. Wait, the nausea simulator? What is this? Thing? Oh, Wait, what? Uh, what? What is the point of this? Uh, sometimes people just are a little bored and they want to try out new things. And gosh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> uh, what in the world? Uh, okay, hold on. I, need some I, milk. I think I need some milk. Yeah, that that is very interesting. I don't think you should have that on a helicopter. People are already gonna get like motion we sick. Maybe jumped out a window. Cam, drink some milk. Here, take this. I don't know where I am. Okay, uh, I think Cam has seen better days. But let's go check out the next floor and. Whoa, what the heck is this? Um, that's a pool. Are you sure there's a pool? This kind of looks like a portal to another dimension. What do you mean? Just take a dip. Uh, okay. Uh, why do I have plague? Oh, did I forget to clean the pool again? Ew, what in the world? Get me out of here. Oh, gosh, do you have any showers here? Oh, um, I guess I can build one right now. Uh, uh, oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, that is a very interesting pool. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna stay out of that for now. Um, here's the shower. Oh, all right, thanks. Um, the well, anyways, wait, what's on the top floor? I see you have, like, a, a ladder going up over here. Are you really sure it's safe to be here, like, on the top of the helicopter when it's flying? What do you mean? This is an open roof design. Customers love this. And, wait, well, what's with all the buckets and helmets and boats? Maybe on a house that would work, but this is a helicopter. Um, here, guys, put on your electras. Wait, wait, what? Electras? There's electras in this one? And, uh, wait, is that what the helmets are for? Oh, is this the escape route? Um, escape route? No, this is the skydiving area, silly. What? Skydiving? Diving. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, so there's some buckets in here and some boats in case some of the um, passengers need to uh, clutch because they're too close to the ground. But um, it's pretty fun. So do we just fly off like this? Yep, and you can see the engine for the helicopter and everything too. I kind of hit the engine and now I have to uh, water clutch. Um... Okay, seems like a skill issue to me, but... What? Oh, okay, well, anyways, uh, that was a pretty interesting helicopter, but the real question now is, does it fly? You've got a lot of stuff on here. Oh, yeah, I even have landing gear, so um, it should fly just fine. All right, all right, well, there's only one way to find out here. Let's go over to the floor with the captain's area Ooh, right over here, and all right, uh, let's see, is this thing gonna actually fly? Oh, um, uh, I might have forgotten to put down the engine, but I can fix that really quickly. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, that thing is important, but, oh, wait, hold on, are we moving right now what's going on um i don't think we're moving quite yet um are we whoa and, oh wait we're moving whoa 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 hey 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 calm down everything's fine and, okay okay it, it, it looks like we're flying pretty good whoa okay and, hey yo chill 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 what the heck was that um i'm experimenting a little bit uh, uh the wire the, what is going Look, on i can fly without any ice whoa whoa what the 
sake! I don't even have to look to be able to fly, you guys. Uh, uh, no, no, I, I think you should definitely be looking. Uh, wait, can we land now? Um, landing? Uh, how do I land? Uh, like this? Sure. Is this right? Uh, uh, uh kind of. Like, just keep going Just lower and, me down. Uh, there you go. Oh, yeah. I think my landing gear does work. <sighs> Let me out. Uh, I, I, I don't think Cam enjoyed his flight. Uh, are you still experiencing the nausea simulator, Cam? No, uh, but uh, guys, let's go look at a different build. Let's go look at mine. Uh, yeah, uh, hold on. Let's go look at Cam's helicopter. Ruby, your helicopter was actually pretty good. I think I'll rate it a solid 6 out of 10. What? That's so high. I'd rate it like a 3. Ooh, okay. So that gives you a 9 in total, Ruby. But anyways, Cam, let's go check out yours now. Yours looks uh, very interesting. You've got a very small propeller for the size of your uh, helicopter. It looks like a submarine. Uh, trust me, that propeller is very powerful. It looks like a potato. Oh, yeah. It kind of does look like a potato. But anyways, uh, where do we start? Do we start right over here and... Uh, what the? Is that a fireplace? Yep, welcome to the luxury helicopter. <laughs> Why do you have a fireplace in here? Everything's made out of wool. It's gonna burn. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, and you have to keep warm somehow. It seriously feels really empty in here. Just a fireplace? Not even like a chair? Uh, there's a chair right here. Yeah, but that's the captain's chair. I'm talking about chairs for us. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, well, anyway, if you guys want to follow me, I can start showing you the rooms. All right, all right. And whoa, okay, it looks like you got a lot of rooms here. Uh, uh, let's go in this one first. What is this? This is where I have all my business meetings and I make tons of money. Oh, okay, okay. That's kind of cool. But wait, what's over here on the other side? Is it another meeting room? And Oh, wait, is this the kitchen? Yeah, this is the kitchen. You got, uh, you know, four fridges, uh, one for uh, every other day of the week, and then uh, uh, tons of furnaces to cook food. Whoa, okay, but wait, why is there a bunch of water leaking in the ceiling? What's above over here? And whoa. Hey, yo, stop it, stop it, stop it, get down. Why, what, what, what's the problem? You'll see that later in the tour. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Well, what's the next thing? All right, well, if you just follow me this way, I could show you this. It's just an art room. Uh, yeah, just a totally normal art decoration room. Uh, totally normal, huh? Wait, what? You just have a bunch of paintings in? Here. That's kind of boring, you realize. Uh, yeah, well, it's fine. Uh, just uh, stay there. Uh, uh, wait, what's that over there in the corner? Uh, what? The, what's what? Uh, wait, Kim, did you just walk through the painting? Oh, I see what Where'd this is. <gasps> Whoa, wait, Ruby, check this out. Check this out. He's got like a whole hidden vault back here. That is actually kind of cool. Yeah, this is the vault where I keep all my golden diamonds because, you know, this is the luxury helicopter and I've, uh, I'm super rich. Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. But hold up. You still have a lot of rooms in this hallway over here. What's in this room over here? And, oh, wait, more paintings? Yep, this is my bed. Bedroom. Uh, you can see I've got my bed here and then a few of uh, uh, my favorite artworks. Whoa, this looks kind of creepy actually here. Have a cookie cake. And yeah, wait, this actually does look kind of creepy. You got like a bunch of these skeleton paintings. What are these? Oh, they're um, like multi-billion dollar paintings. They're fine. I can't handle this. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let's go on to the next room. What's over here? And Oh, wait, you have one more room and then a staircase? All right, all right, that's cool. And Whoa, wait, what is this? This is my personalized gym. Over here, we got some treadmills. We got a one billion pound dumbbell right here. We got a yoga mat and uh, some more dumbbells right here. A, a one million Whoa. pound dumbbell? Can you even lift this? Uh, yeah, of course I can. All right, all right. Well, let's see. Let's see. You got this. All right, you ready? <laughs> uh, what the Whoa, heck? Oh, he uh. actually did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was actually very impressive. But okay, hold on. I want to see what the upstairs has. I've never seen a helicopter with two floors on. Actually, mine kind of has two floors, but whoa, wait, you have a bunch more rooms here. What's this? This is the uh, luxury mini golf course. What the? You have a mini golf course? Yep, we have three different levels. We have uh, easy, and then we have medium, and then we have super duper hard. Whoa, what the? Wait, wait, hold on. How do we play? Do we have to grab one of these black walls from here? Yep, uh, grab three so you can play on all the holes, and then you start on the black walls. Ooh, okay, okay. And wait, wait, we just have to try to aim for the white wall. Hold on, let me try this out real quick. Come on and hey, let's go. Too easy. All right, well, Ruby, your turn. Let's go. Oh, did I get it? Yeah, this one's pretty easy. This is the easy one and hole in one for us all. All right, Woo! all right. Well, wait, what's the next one? Is the next one this green one over here? Yep, this is the medium one, and you have to make it around this corner into the white. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, hold on. This one's actually a little bit harder. I guess let me just try throwing it here once. There we go. And then let me go and pick up my ball and then throw it this way. Let's go. Too easy. Oh, so that's how you do it. Maybe I'll just try it doing it this way. Oh, I didn't make it. Okay, I'll do it again. Let's see this. Let's see this. And hey, there you go. Yay! And now let me show you how a professional does it. Let me drop it like that. There you go. And a tiny little putt in. Boom. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. But wait, wait. How do we do this red one over here? This is the hardest one, right? Yep. You have to jump and make it in. I'll let you go first. Whoa. Okay, okay. Here, let me try this out. Whoa, wait. There's like blocks on top of it. Okay, this kind of tough. Let me just try to line it up perfectly. And come on. Oh, no, I almost made it. Oh, it was so 
close. Oh yeah, and with this one, you uh, you don't play where it lies. You have to restart it until you get a hole in one. What? Okay, okay. Here, let me try one more time. Then come on in. Here we go. The one, okay, this one's actually crazy, Cam. You you try. Oh yeah, I got this. Don't worry. Uh, oh, actually, Ruby, do you want to go first? Um, sure. I'll go. And uh, and did I make it? Uh, come on. Come on. This is rigged. Uh, no, I just think you're bad. Uh, let me show you guys how to do it. And let me just do that. And uh, oh, wait, hold on. I, I missed it. Hold on. Let me try and, again. Uh, what were you saying? You said we're bad. Oh, come on. I was so close there. Oh, that, wait, I got it this time. And go. And okay, okay. Step aside, step aside. Let me show you how a real expert does it. What you got to do is just uh, go like this and then throw it there. And yeah, let's go too easy. You didn't see uh, anything. Okay. Whoa, that was pretty good. Yep, no problem. Wasn't even trying. But anyways, what else do you have upstairs over here? Hold on. Wait, is this that the water room that I saw earlier? <laughs> Whoa, wait, you just have like a little pond here? What is this? Oh, this is for the most luxury thing in the world. Oh, it's a pool. Hey, what? Fishing? You have a fishing pond on your helicopter? Why? Uh, because I wanted it. What? Um. Okay, well, what if your helicopter is like experiencing a lot of turbulence and, you know, the water spills? Oh, it's fine. We've got anti, anti, anti turbulence uh, motors. What? Uh. Okay, but anyway, that's kind of interesting, but hold on. I want to see if this thing actually flies. Your propeller was like super tiny compared to the size of your actual helicopter. So no way this thing actually works. Oh, yeah, it actually works. Uh, it just hop in your seats and I could show you. And all right, all right, here. I'm just going to move this seat over here. I want to see the front view. Ooh, me too. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Ready for liftoff. Then three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. And whoa, we're moving by. Wait, uh, hold on. Why, why is everyone flying around? What is going on? Are, are you sure this is good? Uh, yeah, I'm sure this is good. I am so dizzy. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to that anti turbulence motor? I thought there's a bunch of turbulence going on. Oh, that's just because you're in the wrong seat. What? And, hey, yo, 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 watch out, watch out. Don't hit my helicopter. And watch your helicopter, bro. Whee! Dude, you're spinning all the things. We fly better. Oh, no. Wh what the heck is going on? Cam, Cam, watch out. Like, don't hit my helicopter. Park, park. I won't. Don't worry. And yeah, Cam, Cam, come on. Just park the helicopter. All right, let, let, let's just get out. Uh, just park it right here. There we go. All right. Well, uh, that was actually a, a pretty nice helicopter. Uh, I think I'll rate this one a uh, 6.5 out of 10. 6.5? I'm going to rate this one a 4. Oh, that means at least I beat Ruby. Let's go. Ooh, that puts your score at 10.5. But anyways, now, guys, are you ready to see the best helicopter of them all? My epic fighter helicopter right over here. I wouldn't say the best, but I'm ready to see the worst. This thing is huge. Uh, uh, well, it's not the worst. That, yep, this thing is absolutely ginormous. It's so big that... Uh, wait, actually, hold on. The entrance is right... Oh, over here. Yeah, everyone, just follow me this way. Oh, all right. And what the heck? Why do you have planes inside your helicopter? And, oh, those are just my emergency escapes. But anyways, I guess we could start. Oh, actually, hold on. We have to go outside again for the start. Everyone follow me right over here. I got to show you guys my turrets. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, what? So pretty much, since this is a fighter helicopter, I gotta have, you know, defenses to stop any enemies who are trying to attack. So I've got some epic turrets right over here. And check it out. If I spawn in a zombie, it, it just gets instantly destroyed. What the heck? Whoa, that's powerful. That's crazy. Yep, so nobody is messing with my helicopter. But anyways, next we can go back inside. I still have a few other defenses to show you. Everyone, follow me over here into the captain's seat. Ooh, can I drive? I, I, no, 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 no. I, I, I think I'll stick to driving but anyways right over here is the captain's seat and the captain's seat has a bunch of special controls uh anyone want to try flicking this lever over here i'm sure all right awesome and pretty much if you'd follow me right out here what that lever did is just drop a bunch of tn oh wait cam uh i forgot you parked underneath no! my ship Oh my ship! Oh, but it's not my fault. You parked underneath my helicopter. Well, I didn't know you were going to have TNT raining from your helicopter. Uh, uh, well, of course I'm going to. It's a fighter helicopter. Those are the TNT droppers. Uh, fine. I'll just rebuild it. But uh, the, what, uh, the, what else do you have? Oh, oh well, uh, here, I've also got this other lever right over here. Uh, if anyone wants to try flicking that. Uh, I'm good. I, I think that, that one's meant for Ruby. <laughs> and, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Ruby, you can flick it. I want to do it. I want to do it. You got to get in first. I'm trying. And, okay, there you go. Here, let me close up this. And yeah, just go ahead and flick that you can give it a few flicks if you want and check it out guys those are the fireball dispensers check it out we're shooting a bunch of fireballs at oh there's poop coming out of that one ew what ew hey, no it's for extra defenses because you know poop is like disgusting and uh it'll keep everyone away but uh anyways wait no no Kim, don't go up there yet don't don't worry about that uh, next i gotta show you guys the escape routes oh, okay kind of curious though what's up there uh, don't, don't even worry about it but right over here this is the main escape route what 
you got to do is just go onto this special plate and it'll give you an elytra and then what you can do is just open this door and elytra out in case you need to escape you know well what if you know you can't use an elytra oh well don't worry cam i already thought about that that's why i've got the plane escape routes if you guys would follow me back inside of the helicopter we've got some plane escape routes right over here pretty much what you can do is just hop into a plane and then start flying and you see that tripwire hook over there as soon as you pass by it it'll open up a door and you can fly out well that's awesome oh yeah that worked perfectly yep i know it's pretty awesome this is just in case the helicopter gets stranded on like the middle of nowhere or on top of like an ocean or something you know uh, the where you can't use an elytra to escape okay and um i think that i oh oh no oh no my plane uh, oh no uh, you just crashed the plane it's fine but hold on uh let's go ahead and just land the planes back in the helicopter it should be pretty easy we just gotta go in like this come on in oh come on come on i just gotta make it in let's go easy landing oh no my plane's totally on the ground now but dash i'm curious what was that thing that like it was at your captain's chair and oh up uh, here i guess i can show that to you guys next everyone just follow me up over here we gotta go back into the captain's room so everyone just uh let's close the doors and uh we can climb up these ladders Whee! All right, all right, everyone get ready. Right up over here is the missile launcher. W wait, what? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fighter helicopter. I gotta have a missile launcher. Wait, am I next to a missile right now? Uh, 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 no. Uh, don't use that, Dash. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, do I? No, I'm not gonna use it now, guys. Don't worry, but uh, anyways, uh, now we gotta see if this thing actually flies. I haven't floated in a while. Um, will this set off the missile? And, no, 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 guys. It's not gonna set up the missile. We're all good. And all right, here, guys, I just turned it on. We are now flying. Let's go! It actually works. Uh, wait, uh, what the heck? There's so much turbulence. And yeah, wait, hold on. Uh, so, okay, I'm try flicking these lever over here. I want to see if the, the, the dispenser thing still work when you flick it. And, oh, wait, is it working? Come on in. Yes, it still works. That's awesome. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. What in the world? Uh, ow. And, uh, wait, did someone leave the door in the back open? Why did all the planes fall out? Um, I don't know. But, uh, wait, guys, do you hear that? And, wait, what? Hear what? What are you talking about? I think the nuke just accidentally went off. Wait, wait, what? No, wait. Uh, hold on, Kim. Yeah, go check on it. Uh, guys, it's not here. Uh, wait, what? What do you mean it's not here? It's not here, guys. Dash, you want to come check this out? And, uh, wait, wait, what? It, hold on, hold on. I need to see this. Uh, I'm coming up. Dash, you just let the plane drop. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, Ruby, this is more important. And uh, What? Did it get launched accidentally? Oh, no, oh, no. Uh, guys, we got to fly out of here. We got to go. We got to go. Uh, well, hurry, hurry, fly. Come on, get back in the captain's chair. I'm going, I'm going here. Everyone, get ready. We got to get out of here. Oh, no. Uh, but wait, what's that in the sky? Uh, Dash? And, uh, wait, what, what, what are you talking about? Uh, Dash, I think that's the missile. And, uh, Wait, guys, what's going on? Do you guys hear that? What, what, what's happening? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm going to escape. And, uh, yeah, guys, I think we got to get out of here. Go, go, go. And, uh, what in the world is that? I don't know, but I'm getting away. Oh, no, oh, no. Uh, guys, I think that missile uh, it created a black hole. We got to get out of here. It just ate the back of the helicopter. What? Run, run, run. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We got to go. Oh, no. I told you a nuke wasn't a good idea. Uh, yeah, let's just get out of here. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.